and you know friend this whole whole situation is just stressing me okay it is stressing me and to top it all off the other day the tire burst on the maserati it burst friend the cherry on top of the cake you know people they judge you because they think everything is fine because you have money and everything is going to be okay and it's not okay okay money doesn't solve all your problems money can't buy you happiness it's the truth money can't buy you happiness she's crazy money can't buy you happiness listen if you give me the choice between crying in a mansion versus crying in a house with no electricity, no water, mum, kukung, a mad hat. I'd rather cry in a mansion any day. Any day. Hey beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kapana Shimange and this is How I Do Things. The show where you send me your questions and I let you know how I would do things. Now you can take this as advice, use it, don't use it. It is completely up to you. There is no pressure, no instructions on whether you should use this or not. It is completely your choice. You can watch for entertainment, shop, or you can take it as advice. Your choice. Now today's episode, it is a tell at the Tuesday. So we're talking about that money, honey. And today we're talking about it from a different perspective. We always want more money, right? Life is just better with more money. There's levels to this money situation. And if we can continue to climb the levels, we are happy. But I'm going to talk about the opposite side of the spectrum. How's life on the opposite side with no money? Brokenness, broken down to the point where you have debts. And you have very little or no money coming in. That is brokenness. When what is going out is definitely more than what is coming in. For me, brokenness is when it's coming in. Zero, nada, nothing is coming in. That is brokenness. I've experienced that brokenness. And I've said this before. But brokenness has a certain color. Ne? And that color doesn't suit me. Right? doesn't suit my complexion me personally i just feel as though you know when i wear the color of brokenness it's just like mm -mm. It's, mm, ugh, it leaves a sour taste in my mouth when i look at it i'm just like mm, no 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 there's some important lessons that you can learn from being broke okay do not discount it if you are going through a phase in your life where you're just like yo 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 i can't be any broker than what i am right now then take this moment to say, how can I make this better? How can I learn from this situation? Is there anything that can come out of this and be positive? Because there is. <laughs> Let me explain. I'll explain it. I'll get into it. I'll give you 10 reasons why there are lessons and blessings from being broke and how you can use them to become a better rich person. I'll explain later. But if you have any questions that you want to send to me, head over to my Instagram and look for at Kopanashimange, this picture in my Insta story highlights. And you can reply and let me know which question or scenario you want me to talk about in my next video. But until then, let's get into this one about the lessons and the blessings of being broke. If there are any. Broke, brokenness is temporary. All right. And you cannot use it as an excuse in life. It's not an excuse, but it is an exit from where you are to where you want to go. Because there's certain rich lessons that can be learned and experienced only from being broke. Now, I think that being broke is going to make me a better rich person. I'm not rich yet, but because of the brokenness that I have experienced in my life, I think that I will genuinely be a better rich person because of that situation. Here's 10 things that I learned from being broke and maybe... Some of us can learn from those things too. Number one, being broke stretches you. It stretches you. You think that you are unable to do certain things until you are broke, right? You come across this situation where your hair is a mess and it's been a mess for three months now. And you're just like, between me and poverty, give 50 rand. Expression, give 30 rand. One packet of hair. It's not gonna last maybe let me try and look for you know something short five rand per packet that way i'll still have some money left to work out all of a sudden you know how to braid your hair Ta -la -la. being broke will stretch you being broke will make you go from not knowing how to do your braids to doing your braids 
not knowing how far you can walk to knowing exactly how many kilometers you can walk if need be it will teach you that okay you do not have the money to go buy a washing machine you do not have the money to pay someone to wash your things but you shall learn to hoshonka because being broke will let you know that you are resourceful there is always a solution to the problem that you have when you're broke you will find it number two is that broke is a filter for friends i'm telling you brokenness must actually be just called friend filter when you're broke the friends who want to be around you when you don't have any money are your real friends then there's those other friends who are just like oh if you call that person that means that we can't have a certain level of fun because we can't go out to certain places because this person just doesn't have money we can't do this we can't do that with that person so let's just not invite that person your real friends will find a way to have fun with you even when you are broke i know sometimes you just feel as though it's i feel like a burden guys i don't want to go out you know i just don't have the cash to go out but your real friends will be like we'll find a way it's fine even if it means that we have to drink oros and vodka it's fine we'll make a plan broke is a filter for friends if your friends can't stick around when you're broke then they don't deserve to be around when you have money number three is that broke teaches you how to fight the fomo there's nothing worse than wanting to do something you can see everybody's excited about this thing we're going somewhere oh it's nice it's nice and then you're there in the corner just thinking to yourself i definitely can't go there don't have the money for that it will help you to fight the fomo it will teach you coping mechanisms so when everybody is going out and you don't have the money to go out you come up with an excuse and say you know what i actually have to study for a test knowing very well you don't actually have to study for anything and you stay home and you start to think to yourself what can i do with my time while everybody else is enjoying themselves at a place that i really want to be there i just can't afford to be there you will come up with coping mechanisms you'll find ways to actually spend your time so that you don't think about those things if you don't know what FOMO is it is the fear of missing out and a lot of us we spend our money because we don't want to miss out we don't want to miss out on that event we don't want to miss out on that that piece of clothing we don't want to miss out on a trend we don't want to miss out on everybody's doing their hair blonde i don't want to miss out on that trend everybody's doing wigs now i don't want to miss out on getting wigs you will feel like you're missing out of things when you are broke but if you're broke for just long enough ne, and broke enough for you not to partake in those in those things broke will teach you how to cope number four is that brokenness will teach you the difference between nonsense and necessity now look there's many things that we think to ourselves i really need this thing i really i need a washing machine because honestly the clothes are just piling up and i don't have the time to hoshunka myself but when you're broke you will find a plan you'll be like okay what if i just woke up a little earlier got the work done between this time and that time get the kids to sleep at that time then i will actually be able to hoshunga and wash the clothing without the washing machine brokenness will help you realize that there's certain things you want just because you just want them you can live without them but you just want them when you're broke you realize that ish this is a need and that other thing is a want there's other things that are more important for me to spend my money on right now i want a wig but i need food i want new jeans but i need textbooks i'm telling you naya brokenness will help you realize that i only have 200 rand between me and poverty and to be honest with you i choose food over alcohol i choose you know certain things over other things and that's only a lesson that you can learn from being broke and when you become rich when you finally have that matankura to actually start buying that other stuff what starts to happen is you start to realize to decipher hore nonsense necessity nonsense necessity number five is that being broke will teach you to be grateful for the small things you know the other day i was just thinking about my skodomki the first car that i bought right this skodonki used to break down and as it was breaking down as I, I could tell that the power has just gone out on my car i used to just you know caress the steering wheel and be like lord i'm so grateful for this skodonki because it got me there anyway 
That's what brokenness will do for you. It will make you so grateful for that penty with a hole in it. It will make you so grateful for the small milestones that you are reaching in your life. From a point where you realize that, you know what, I could not afford to buy tomato paste. I used to make my own out of just fresh tomatoes. The day when you can afford tomato paste, you're just like, yo, I remember the days when I couldn't. Hey, you'll be, you'll be grateful for the small things. From the days when you used to use your eyeshadow for lipstick just because you wanted a different color. The day when you now have this wreck of lipsticks, you'll just be like, yo, I remember the days when I had to use eyeshadow for lipstick. I am telling you now, being broke will teach you how to be grateful for those things. And when you finally get that money, you mustn't forget where you were before. Because remembering that, We'll make sure that every small little step you take, it is necessary and that you stash in that cash away so you don't go back to being broke. Number six is that being broke will make you the master of problem solving. When you don't have the money to fix a problem, when something just pops up and you can't just tuck out the cash to fix the problem, all of a sudden you become so creative. You find other ways to solve certain problems and that's the only thing that you can do when you don't have money. When you don't have money to solve that problem, you will find other ways. You'll start to think to yourself, okay, fine. If I had money, I'd call AA to fix my burst tire. I do not have that money. Today, we are learning how to fix that tire. All right. If you had money, you just pour petrol into your car and you drive all the way to wherever you want to go. When you don't have the money, you think to yourself, how can I do this without going there? How can I achieve what I want to achieve without having to drive there? How can I save this money? Because I don't have any other money. Those lessons of being broke, you become master creativity. And what happens when you do have money, you start to realize that, ah, uh -uh, this is a nonsense spend. I don't need to spend this money because I know other solutions. You just become this person who just has this storage of problems that can be solved. You learn more when you're broke because you have no option but to learn how to do things. There are so many skills that I've learned from being broke and the only reason why I know those things is because once upon a time, I did not have the money to pay for those solutions. You will find a solution for the problems you have when you've got no money to spend to fix it. Number seven is that you finally realize that money is not an excuse. You know when we're looking at all these millionaires and billionaires who are self-made, all these Cinderella stories for these people who were supposedly from dust to riches, you understand that that is a real thing. When you don't have the money to buy certain resources to make things happen for yourself, you find other ways to make it happen, right? If you don't have the money to buy the books and the, and the paints and all of the things that you need to create this artwork, you find a way to use the trash to create art. And that's what brokenness does for you, right? You start to realize that being broke is actually no excuse. Having no money to start my business is no excuse. There's so many people who end up starting businesses, who end up going from having nothing to having something because they were just like, either way, whether I have the money or I don't have the money, I'm going to make it work. And when you finally climb out of that place in life when you're just like, okay, I'm not broke, but I'm not rich yet, you start to realize that just because I don't have the money, to grow to the place I want to grow to, it's not an excuse. I can still make things happen without having to just flush the money all over the place. Number eight is that being broke builds faith. And not just any type of faith, not just the wishing faith, it builds the action faith. You know, when you are praying for something to happen for you, when you're praying that, you know, let these things happen for me, Lord, can this money just come my way? You start to put the action into your faith. Your faith is completed by your actions and it's no longer just you wishing, 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 wishing something happens. Because you're resourceful, you start to actually complete that faith with the actions that are required to make things happen. So it's not just about wishing. Yo, I wish that I could make money. You start to realize that and like, God has given me everything that I need to make things happen here. Let's start. Let me use this. Let me try that. Being broke will teach you that. You will have more faith than anybody else. You'll start to relax. You know, when there's some people who don't have money, they panic. They're just like, ah, oh, I don't know what to do with myself. I'm not going to this place. The world is falling apart. When you are broke, you start to realize that life is actually really good. Without money, 
I can still be happy without all of those things that other people are crying about because they don't have the money to do those things. Brokenness has taught me that, you know what? I'm still alive. I'm still, I'm still here. Get sharp. I can still build. As long as you're alive and you've got your faith, you'll be okay. Number nine is that being broke teaches you to be good with money. I know you're just like, How's that, how does that even make sense? If you're broke, you have no money. So how does it teach you to be good with money? There's certain lessons that you learn from being broke because now you realize what you need and what you don't need. You learn that the de that debt is the devil. You count your coins down to the shilling, the last shilling that you have. You'll be like, hey, shilling, yake, yake. When you need money for something and 10 cents is the only thing that's standing in between you and what you want, you will find that 10 cents. Being broke makes you count every little coin because every coin is important. Every coin. You can't lose a coin. You can't lose a coin. Have you ever been in a taxi and then you drop one rent and then it's gone and it's the last one rent you have to afford the taxi? You're just like, oh, snap. We better find this one rent because, I don't know, people don't like borrowing you one rent on the taxi. It's just, it's, it's a problem. Yay. Being broke will teach you to, to trust and to rely and to count every last shilling that you have. And when you have money, you have the same mentality because you're thinking to yourself, every rand counts. Let me tell you something. Money is fickle. Money burns. There's so many millionaires in the world who have lost all their money and they rebuilt it again. Money burns. It can be, it can disappear. Some things happen and money just goes. So when you learn to do with little, when the day you have a lot, you start to use it much better. And number 10, being broke teaches you to have a safety net. No one is immune from being broke. Honestly, we've seen this happen from recessions to people losing their jobs. Brokenness happens all the time. And even if you think you're super secure, things can go south and your money can just get flushed down the drain. It's happened. I've seen it. I've lived it. Being broke teaches you to have a safety net. Because you know what rock bottom smells like. You know what it tastes like. You know how it feels. That hot pain. That pain, 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 pain that you feel. When you literally, genuinely do not have the money to do something you need to do. The day you start making even an extra two rand, you're going to start building a safety net because you're just like, I am not going back there. Nah. Never. I never. Now being broke it's not cute. We've all come to that conclusion. We all agree with each other. It's a color that suits no complexion. Nobody looks good broke. Nobody. Everybody looks better when they are. You know how tlapile because of chalete. It makes you an extra type of shininess that can only be done with just rubbing your skin. Brokenness ain't cute, yo. It ain't cute on nobody. But that doesn't mean that you don't have to make the best out of it, right? There are certain things that you can take from being broke to become a better millionaire the day when it becomes actually from broke to billionaire. That just sounds so much better. Now that's it for Chalet the Tuesday. I hope that you guys enjoyed this one. I'd really love to know what broke has taught you. We've had this conversation on Instagram already. So let's hear what you have to say here on YouTube. To everybody who's joining for the morning party, 7.30 South African time every single morning for the premiere and the live chat. Good morning to you beautiful people. Until the next time, I'm Kopana Shimange and this is How I Do Things. Being broke and cute, nobody deserves it. Nobody should wear that color. It does not suit anybody. If you want to become better with your money and learn how you can grow it, preserve it, and to keep it, then definitely head over to kopanoshimange.com and download our money resources. They're completely free and they're up for you to download right now.